Thanks. It's lovely to see so many people here reminiscing about this area of Maribra. This is a wonderful park beside the river, Eric Cummings Park, and now it's been made even more special with this plaque about the history of Dune Villa, about the Dalhousies, about, you know, the, the, the Duns, all the families that lived around here, and particularly the majestic homes. Um, you know, Maribor has this marvelous history in the buildings, but those are really just telling the stories of people, the people that called those buildings homes, the people that lived here um, and participated in the life of Maribor. And through this plaque, you know, in this wonderful park, looking at the remnants of these historic homes just here on the other side of the fence um, is now all the, all the better because of the work that's gone into this plaque with, with beautiful artwork by Susie Hansen uh, that'll really ensure that the stories here will live for many, many more generations. So well done to all involved. Uh, you've done a really marvelous thing in helping to tell the history of Maribor and making this park even more special. Um, I am the granddaughter of Lilius and Hector Dunn. And I used to come here as a child. My mother would bring me and we would visit this house here, number two, Dalhousie Street. Firstly, I really would like to say thanks to Maribara for doing this and in particular to June O'Hanlon who, and company, whoever helped her. This is a wonderful, wonderful memory of these wonderful houses that are part of Maribara's history. I came home from the hospital. Dad had built that house there, 5 Dalhousie Street, and um, as a baby. And we lived in that till I was 12. And then mum wanted a brick house. So Dunn's, he was building Dunn's, this house here. And uh, so they were selling off their big acreage. So we bought the chook yard. And <gasps> while that was being um, our house in the chookyard was being finished. Um, we lived in Dune Villa itself, and that was a wonderful experience. It, it, it really was. Very fond memories of, of living up here. And uh, so, yeah, I thought, well, I'll get onto the Historical Society, and they've cooperated, and things have just flowed along quite easily ever since. So, yeah, thank you very much. Some stage um, I came across on Facebook, I think, uh, a diagram of the floor plan of Dune Villa House, um, which was submitted by Gino Hanlon, who I didn't know. Um, we've always been interested in Dune Villa House, particularly. Um, there's, it's had a magic history about it for many people over the years. And, um, and I knew Betty by, by chance as well. So I sent the, the picture to Betty, and, um, who had not, couldn't recall the house either. She's about my age. And, um, and um, the house was pulled down in our young childhood years um, and her grandparents built the house across the road here it's been a it's been a marvelous uh, uh, project to do to come up with the, the details and who lived where which house was where and um, there's been conflicting stories all along but uh, at least we now have the the plaque here which is beautifully done by um, um, the girl Anderson uh, girl Hanson and um, and now the, the park also has been uh, better uh, attended to as well. So we're, we're pleased to make it part of our Maribor history. Thank you.